there, folks. It's Paul Marco. I'm out here in God's country, and today I've got the Black Hills Honey Badger ammunition and several pistols, and I'm going to shoot them. And the reason that I realized that I needed to make this video is because there are some rumors floating around out there that the Black Hills Honey Badger ammo, specifically the FTM or the Lehigh Defense projectiles, cause stoppages or malfunctions or jams in semi-automatic handguns and that's simply not the truth now i can't speak to other manufacturers but what i can speak to is the black hills honey badger line black hills has been manufacturing ammunition factory fresh ammo with the lehigh defense ftm and that stands for fluid transfer monolithic bullets for at least six years now and i've been using them in 45 acp and in nine millimeter that long and i have not had any problems with stoppages with jams with malfunctions due to the ammunition or the projectiles now when it comes to the nine millimeter if you want to know the difference between the supersonic black hills makes a supersonic load and they also make a subsonic load in nine millimeter now the subsonic load the projectile has a three prong. It's got a three prong projectile and the supersonic 110 grain load has a four prong. So if you're looking at them, you're like, well, I don't know which is which. Well, the four prong is supersonic and the three prong is subsonic. And since I've got subsonic nine millimeter, I thought, well, I'll bring out a pistol with a can and I'll shoot that too. So what I've got today is I have got a G17 with an AAC can on it. We're going to shoot that. I have a Glock 48, right, which is kind of a medium size gun. And then I have the Canic. I've got the Canic MC9, which is a smaller gun. I mean, it's not a super small gun, but it's relatively compact. So we're going to shoot the Honey Badger, both the supersonic 9mm and the subsonic 9mm through all of those guns and we'll let you decide whether or not you think it's reliable. Now I'm not going to talk or speak to the wound ballistics or terminal ballistics or what have you. There are plenty of videos, there's plenty of research that's been done by Lehigh and Black Hills regarding penetration and wound cavity and permanent cavity and temporary cavity and all that stuff. What I want to speak to is the reliability and the function of the ammunition. So that's the mission today. Stand by. <laughs> 